Troy and Jason were walking back to Troy's place and notices a lot of commotion at the neighbor's house. What happened? <laughs> I am not sure what happened. I just got home with my fiance and my sister was on the floor. She wasn't responsive. I called 911. Well, did you knock her out? What? That's my sister. How dare you? The EMT carries Lucy out on the stretcher and transports her to the hospital. Everyone knows you guys don't really get along. Did you girls get into an argument? You are mistaken. We live together. We are best friends. All siblings squabble. I just think it's odd timing. Your uncle just passed away and is expected to leave you girls with his assets and now your sister is close to death? I don't need you two little squirrels in my business. I'm going back into the house. Tracy storms off and into the house. Troy and Jason continue to walk to Troy's house. Inside the house, Tony and Kat are hanging out and watching TV. Hey, ya Kat. What's up, Tony? Nothing much, just relaxing. What was all the commotion at Tracy and Lucy's? Did their dog run away again? It's interesting. Tracy said she just got home and her sister was laying on the floor. The ambulance took Lucy to the hospital. Well, what's so interesting about that? Those two are always at each other's throat. I don't know why they live together. I think it's odd that Tracy didn't go with her sister to the hospital. This leads me to believe that she has something to do with it. Interesting perspective. Well, we cannot go around accusing people. Why do you think she would hurt her sister? I think it may have something to do with her uncle's assets. What do you know about their uncle's assets? He was dad's best friend. Dad told me as the uncle was getting sicker, he told dad about the several properties he owns and some money in his security deposit box. Well, dad shouldn't have told you all that information. It's really none of our business. I didn't say it was any of our business, but it's a key clue on why Lucy is hurt. We need proof. Well, I am going to get it. How are you going to do that? I am going to visit Lucy and see if I can get some answers. She is in a coma. I really don't think you should stick your nose in it. Look, I am going to do what I want to do, and if you guys don't want to help, so be it. Troy arrives at the hospital to talk to Lucy. While in her room, he attempts to have a conversation with her. Lucy, if you can hear me, I want to help you. Can you tell me what happened? Lucy, I am trying to find out what's going on. I think your sister had something to do with this. Lucy starts to slowly flicker her eyes open. Missing treasure. Missing treasure? What do you mean? I need more information. Tracy, missing treasure. Just as Lucy finishes her sentence, Tracy storms into the hospital room. What do you think you're doing here, Troy? You can't be in here. Immediate family only. I was just checking on her. I need you to leave now before I call security. Troy walks close to Tracy and is standing toe to toe with her. You sure seem awfully protective of her, but you are just now getting to the hospital. Something is fishy about you. Just stay out of our business. Troy walks out of the hospital room and back to the house to tell Kat and Tony what is going on. I think Tracy has something to do with this. Lucy told me about a missing treasure, but that was all I was able to get out of her. That's really not much to go off on. I know. Well, Tracy is at the hospital. I say we go into their house to find more clues. Do you mean break in? Not so much break in, but look for any evidence that we can piece together. If the door is locked and we break it to go in, it's called breaking and entering. I don't need a lecture. You are either with me or without me. I think you are on your own. Troy takes off and heads back to Tracy and Lucy's house. He peeks through the window and notices Tracy's fiance is on the couch watching TV. Shoot, I need a distraction. Troy texts Kat and Tony to go to Tracy and Lucy's house to get the fiance at the front door. The plan works like a charm. 
and Kat and Tony are flirting with the fiance, and Troy successfully sneaks through the back door and up the stairs to Tracy's room. He starts to dig around in her belongings and hears a loud voice coming from downstairs. What are you guys doing talking to my fiance? Get off my property. Troy starts to panic as he realizes Tracy is back home. Tony continues to try to stall Tracy and her fiance. Listen, if you and Kat do not leave, I will turn my dog on you. Kat and Tony notices the dog in the living room and it's the laziest dog ever. I don't think we have to worry about your dog attacking us. I don't even think he gets out to use the bathroom. Meanwhile, Troy is upstairs and looking through Tracy's dresser. Since the room is so dark, he doesn't notice a lamp on the table and he accidentally knocks it over. Kat, Tony, Tracy, and her fiance all hear the noise upstairs. Someone is in here. Troy quickly grabs a stack of papers and hides in the closet. They make it up the stairs and are all frightened to see what the noise was. As the fiance opens the door, the cat comes running out of the room. Oh, it was just the cat. He knocked over the lamp. The group sighs with a relief that it wasn't a burglar. The group heads downstairs and Troy successfully sneaks out of Tracy's room. While Tracy is letting Kat and Tony out of the house, Troy sneaks out of the back door and back home. Back at the house, Tony, Troy, and Kat start to read through the paperwork. They find out that most of the assets were left to Lucy and a small percentage left to Tracy. Only if something happens to Lucy, Tracy will obtain the assets. Well, we found our motive. What do we do now? We can't just confront Tracy. She will know that you took that information from her room. She will just deny everything. Look at this. This must be the missing treasure that Lucy was talking about. Troy holds up a picture of a map for Tony and Kat to see. It looks like it is buried somewhere. Maybe Tracy is trying to find it. Also in the paperwork, there is a key code to a safe. I think this code will give us the key to the missing treasure. The next day, Tony, Troy, and Kat head to the address on the paperwork and open the safe. Inside, there is a key. They head back to the hospital where Lucy is and hide the key within her belongings. Lucy opens her eyes and begins to sound more like herself. Lucy, are you okay? Where's Tracy? She tried to kill me. Really? Look, Lucy. We know about your uncle's assets and your sister was trying to get rid of you to collect everything. We found the key to the treasure as well and stuffed it in your belongings. Yes, Tracy is up to no good and I suggest you distance yourself from her. Just as Kat finishes her sentence, Tracy and her fiance come into the hospital room. Lucy, you're awake. I am so happy. I am glad you are okay. You tried to kill me. I did no such thing. You slipped, remember? Lucy has a confused look on her face trying to remember if she slipped or if Tracy knocked her out. No, Tracy. You tried to steal from Lucy and take the assets. What are you talking about? Just know we are onto you and know that you tried to hurt Lucy. Out of the blue, Tracy's fiance speaks up. You hurt your own sister? What a selfish brat! I knew you weren't worth marrying. I am out of here. I did not. You are a loser anyways. I saw you flirting with Kat and Tony. That money is mine. The missing treasure will pay for our wedding. The fiance storms out of the room and Tracy follows him crying. (laughs) Looks like he dodged a bullet. Well, Lucy, looks like you got out of this one. Yeah, who needs enemies when you have family like that? Yep, I am going to move out and live on my own now that I'm collecting all this money. So what are you going to do next? I don't know, maybe take a handsome man out to dinner? If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe 